Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another one of our videos. So for today, um, Jimmy is going to be dermaplaning or I guess shaving my face. And um, that's something that I've always wanted to try, but you know, I'm kind of indecisive and I wasn't sure if I should schedule an appointment. And all the places that I looked at were all booked until like maybe next month like to get a facial or anything like that and they were a little expensive so maybe later on i'll treat myself to a facial like that but you know i watched some youtube videos and i thought about doing it myself like just dermaplaning i even bought the little blades a while ago but i haven't done it <laughs> i'm gonna have my husband do it just because i trust that he has steadier hands than I do. Sound <laughs> you know? like us. I do trust you. I think you do a really good job because he has pretty steady hands. And for me, just trying to get certain angles and doing it myself, maybe I'll try it later on. I did a little bit just around like my lips, like my mustache area. <laughs> but I don't know, getting up here on the forehead, I don't trust myself to do that on myself yet. <laughs> I also have some pretty like dry skin right now since it's like almost winter. I'm hoping that the dermaplaning will not only help remove those, that little peach fuzz but maybe also remove some of like that dead skin. We'll try that out and then afterwards I'll apply a moisturizer just because I feel like my skin might feel a little bit itchy like it does like after shaving. So I'll go ahead and try that and then I'll get ready to go to dinner. So I'll probably put some makeup and do my hair. Yeah so I hope you enjoy. I don't know for some people it might be like Maybe like, uh, what's the word? Like satisfying to see how you remove all those little hairs. Maybe some of that, the skin, like when you pop pimples and stuff like that. So we'll try that. Yeah, as you can see, my skin's just pretty dry right now, even though I've been applying a ton of moisturizer. But we'll see how it looks after the dermaplaning is done. And when I apply my makeup too, usually you can always tell like the little ha hairs where the makeup settles. So we'll see if that makes a difference too and how the makeup looks. Okay, let's get on to the dermaplaning. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Do you know what you're doing? No. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... I can't do it like that. It's on your chest. <laughs> Does it matter which way I go? Um, okay, you always want to go with the grain, so I'll do that. Are you getting any hairs? Yeah. What about skin? A like dry bit. skin. Not a lot. It's ears. A lot of peaches. Oh, I hear it. That's just one side of your forehead. Oh. I didn't get to the other side yet. I have to flip you around. <laughs> I'm like, 
I never really wanted to touch my sideburns because I remember when I was in middle school, mm-hmm. there was this girl who had really thick hair and I had a class with her and also this other girl. Mm-hmm. And she was telling, one of the other girls was telling me once, like, she cuts her sideburns. Because you could tell that they were, like, shaped. Mm-hmm. And, and ever since then, I was like, oh, if I try to sh- shave them or fix them, you could tell. Mm-hmm. Wait, when was this? Elementary school? Middle school. Oh. How could you tell? Because it was like, you know, when you cut on my mom's haircut, mm-hmm. and just like, there's like an outline. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. But yours isn't yeah. like that, though. Mm. It's a little furry, but it's not like... Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna lean on you like this. Okay, that's fine. I like that. Mm-hmm. But you have a lot of features too. Yeah, I know. But I like it. I'm like a werewolf. Mm-hmm. It's cute. You're cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you want my stomach? I just blew all the hair on you. I've never like really kept up with my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. So then she pulls out a little blade and she's like, I think Lynn had a translate and she's like, oh, she wants to know if she could do your eyebrows. And I was like, mm-hmm. like, how much? She's like, you just like, I was like, just a little bit, just a little bit. And then I was like, so scared. Mm-hmm. They were gonna like really like thin it out. She was gonna just like take off an eyebrow. Yeah, mm-hmm. but fortunately it grew back. I mean, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like super noticeable. It was enough where I could notice, but not, you know. I think that's it. I got your forehead. All the fuzzies. All the fuzzies on your forehead. Let me see. Spray my face. Because for you, I can see all the little water beads on your little hairs mm. Mm. but I don't think you can notice it that much with mine <laughs> mm. that's why I have to be perfect because we're gonna grow back anyways there you go it's done then thank you babies get you a man who will shave your face <laughs> Because I have practice doing my Because mm. I feel any more smooth. Maybe just a little, but Does not, it? not, not too bad. Not a lot, though. I mean, yeah, maybe just lightly. Like I don't, I don't feel the peach fuzz. <clears throat> It definitely My feels skin. like I'm touching just your skin mm. and not like fuzzies. Looks like I got most of that. Mm. Mm. Look at your sideburns compared to the other side. Mm. Yeah, it's the same. It just kind of like went like this. Yeah, I know. I had a, like a lot like around this area. Like sometimes you, I would even see like on my chin mm. down here. Yeah, it's like kind of fuzzy in this spot. Mm. There's a long, there's a long, long Yeah. Yeah, this one, yeah, I just do the same thing. Just kind of shape it and towards your neck. Okay. That's good. No mass. No mass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's good. 
thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll see how it looks like that. That'd be five hundred dollars, please. <laughs> yeah. It's not that expensive. Okay, calm down. <laughs> okay, let's go see how it looks in with makeup, but I'm gonna put a moisturizer on first. But what do you guys think? Should I should I gel my baby hairs to my forehead? Like this. Mm, so look. <laughs> So now I'm getting ready. You know, this is after the dermal planing. I'm gonna, before I continue with curling my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the moisturizer. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm currently using that I'm really liking, and that's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I've actually really been liking this. I've only been using it for like about a week, but I like that it feels that it's like really hydrating and also not like really thick like the consistency <laughs> consistency is um very like liquidy it's not thick at all so I'll just go ahead and apply some of that and it also smells really good it smells like watermelon candy also like really soothing the it does, it does feel a little bit sticky though. It's like a, like a serum kind of. But overall, it's not too bad. So I hate that feeling like after you shave where it just feels like a little itchy, especially since I have like some dry skin. I'm hoping this moisturizer will help a little bit. I've, tri I've literally tried so many different moisturizers, but not many of them like work for me, at least just for the winter, I tend to get like really dry patches and even if I drink more water than usual, my skin still looks pretty dry. Yeah, I might have to add like another layer of moisturizer in a bit. Maybe I'll let this settle and then before I apply my makeup, I'll probably apply a little bit more moisturizer. Okay, so I'm all done with the curling. Took way longer than than I thought just because I haven't actually curled my hair in like such a long time. I think I curled it last week, but I used a different curling iron than the one I used today. And I hadn't used the one I used today in like such a long time since these are more like tighter curls. I usually do like more loose curls. Well, at least for me, these are a little bit tighter. And I don't know why my, my scalp is always like but the hair in my scalp is always flat. And I'm maybe I'll use some hairspray later. But now I'm gonna move on to the makeup. Instead of using the Glow Recipe, I think I'm gonna use another one, like another layer of a different moisturizer, which is one I like to apply like before I do makeup anyways. It's the Belief. Oh. Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. It's very soothing and cooling as well. So I feel like maybe for some sunburns it would be nice. Well, maybe I do need to find like a thicker moisturizer for the winter. I do have one that I've been using that I really like as well. Yeah, I like to try a lot of moisturizers. <laughs> Just because again, my skin gets so dry. And it's mostly like around like my nose, my smile lines, and like around the corners of my lips. Sometimes my forehead too. Don't know if I wanna go heavy on the foundation today, not really. But most of the foundation foundations I have aren't very like heavy or matte. And for primer, I'm going to do the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I actually do really like this one. I might use other primers before and they were just a little too thick for me. So this one's also kind of liquidy, very light. I also really like the color. It's, it almost matches my sweater. I'll apply more on my forehead because that's where a lot of my makeup foundation tends to crease. And then along my smile lines. And I like to apply everything with my hands. <laughs> okay, I don't know, it just feels more comfortable. I feel like I get maybe more or better use out of the product instead of like using a sponge since a lot of the time, a lot of the product just remains on the sponge. It 
Tadam. How does that look? You can't really tell. <laughs> My nose though looks so long and pointy. So it's I don't think in person it looks like this. At least I hope it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. After a little bit, it starts to warm up. And it starts to look a little better. And next, I think I'm gonna do a little blush. This is one that I've been really liking. Um, it's from, hey, what is this brand? Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. I actually really like this one because it gives me just like that peach glow and also has like some shimmers in it but it's not too like shiny i usually just like to apply it to my cheekbones my makeup routine and the way i like to do my makeup is really really simple you know i know there's a whole bunch of steps that these other makeup gurus and all that stuff like to do but sometimes that's just too much for me i like to keep it simple i like the more natural Glow, more natural look as well. There we go. A little bit more on the nose. I don't know how it looks on camera. Sometimes it looks a little too like pink or like red, but I just like that. It makes my skin look a little bit more warm. Just because I am pretty like, I don't know. I don't want to say like fair skin, but I wish I was a little <laughs> more tan. <laughs> Let's do the eyes now. So I got these new um, like eyeliner pens or pencils from Sephora and they're, it's from their brand. I got three colors, two of them that are probably be my go-to just because they're more like brown tones or more like um, neutral tones and sometimes like pink, rose, peach, those types of colors. So I have a brown, and a glitter copper, which I really like actually, it's really pretty. And then I decided to get something new that I really wanted to try, but I'm kind of scared just because it's a little too bold for me. It's the matte cobalt, so it looks like this. So kind of want to try this for tonight just to, just to see how it looks. Should I do this or should I stick to my, to my more natural go-to makeup? So that would be the color. It looks, yeah, looks <laughs> really blue. Maybe a little purple. I don't think it would look too bad. Maybe if I just do the outline or like my last line. Let, let's try a little bit and then if I don't like it, I'll, I'll take it off before I do my, the rest of my makeup. And I'm also like really bad with eyeliner, <laughs> as you can tell already. Not bad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep it, actually. Yeah, and I don't know what this bump is right here. I've had it for a while. I've been doing some warm compresses, but I think I might have to have it professionally removed. But if any of you guys have any tips on how to get rid of this, please let me know. Oh yeah, this actually looks really nice. I'm gonna have to work on perfecting the line a little bit. Just let me do the other eye. Oh God, this is always the hardest part. God, how do you guys do this? Practice, maybe. <laughs> I haven't had much practice. It's mostly my fault, mostly because I've been too scared to try anything new with my makeup. But I'm 30 now, so I'm hoping that I'll become a little more brave and try not to care what others think of me. For me doing things outside of what the genesis, you know, would do, you know? Oh, wow. That's really blue. Actually, it looks kind of purple but i actually really like it okay not bad not bad okay i'll probably have to go back in <laughs> looking at my nose probably have to go back in after i do the um eyelash curler and the I mean, you can't really tell i'm sure in some lighting it might look it might look black okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes which is actually my favorite part if I don't want to wear any makeup or anything like that, but I still want to look kind of fresh, then I'll just curl my eyelashes and maybe add a little bit of mascara. I really liked when I had um, my lashes permed. Like I looked fresh every morning, <laughs> even when you didn't get enough sleep, but 
That's something that I feel like, at least for me, it just makes my eyes pop and just makes me look a little bit more awake and slightly put together. Just because my eyelashes, I feel like, are, I mean, they're an okay length, but they're kind of straight and then just hang downwards instead of curling up. Okay. And I'm going to be using um, the RMS Beauty Straight Up Lash Mascara which I've only tried once and I really liked it. It wasn't like super clumpy. So we'll try that. And the thing with eyelash curlers, I haven't found one that I feel like really grabs all of my, all of my eyelashes. There isn't one that's like maybe like wide enough to do that. So I gotta go in at an angle and make sure I don't pinch my skin out. Um, keep on grabbing some skin. <laughs> Let's do mascara and then I'm gonna have to do more, more eyeliner. Like how do you prevent the eyeliner from like being removed when you curl your eyelashes? I mean, I know you're maybe like curl your eyelashes first, but for me, I always have like trouble applying the eyeliner when my eyelashes are cool just because I like put the eyeliner <laughs> over my eyelashes. So I don't get much of the color out there. Oh, yeah. oh and how do, how do you prevent getting freaking mascara all over your eyelid. That happens to me every single time. <laughs> this is such a weird angle. Here, let me use that little dry brush. I go in with a dry mascara wand just to separate the lashes a little more. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have to go back in with the curling iron. Oh, I actually really like this blue. It's nice. I was gonna go for like a brighter one, like an aqua or like a light blue, but I'm kind of glad I did it. <laughs> Cause I just wanna just spend way too blue. Too much attention, this darker blues. Darker blue is like you notice it, but it's not like so in your face. Oh God, see, every single time. Yeah, here I gotta switch. I gotta switch hands. Uh, I wish I was ambidextrous. I honestly thought this mascara would work a lot better. I got a sample of it and the little sample worked great. That's why I decided to get the full size, but right now it's not really impressing me. Okay, I'm gonna let the mascara dry before I curl them again or try to go back in with the eyeliner. I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray to the roots. <laughs> I also need to get a new hairspray. This dress may one's not really working for me. I've had this for a while. Maybe that's why. Oh God, it's getting hot in here now. Let's do a flip. a little bit more. Ow. 